What's good guys? Man, it's been a long, long time since I posted on this YouTube channel and I'm so sorry for that, the inconsistency, but I've just been hammered with edits, work, and you know, I have deadlines to meet for clients, so I do apologize for that. In today's video, hopefully you guys can enjoy it. I have a dope breakdown on a apparel line that I did. So I hope with this video, with all the breakdown, I can help you guys when it comes to social media promo videos for apparels or fashion videos. They all kind of work together in some type of way. So let me play it. And if you guys like it, stick around. Let me show you guys the video right now. Alright, so hopefully you guys like it or if you guys didn't, drop a comment and let me know why you did or why you did not like it. But let's get started with this video. I have it playing right here so just so I can have an easier way of breaking it down. So before anything, let's get the camera out the way. So I was shooting with the Panasonic S1H. I had two Panasonic S1Hs. One was on the gimbal, one was handheld. The S1H on the gimbal, I used the Sigma 18 to 35 and the handheld one that I was also using to take photos with was the 50 mil Sigma f1.4 lens. And the gimbal also that I used was the Bronin S. So that's the equipment that I used throughout this whole shoot. Now the benefit of this video was we had overcast. So obviously that always gives the softest lighting. Nothing is harsh. Everything is just nice when it comes to exposure. So that was a benefit. But anyways, let's get started on this video. So the first thing when you get these videos where there's a client that comes at you and tells you, you know, I'm looking for a clothing social media ad um, and I want a video. The first thing that I will tell you guys to ask the client as I did is what kind of style do you want for this video that you want people to know about your brand in general? And what he told me is I want like a Hurley, Ruka, Volcom, like that type of vibe for his video because that's what he wants his clothing line to be around. So I was like, okay, so it's like, it's like skateboarding, surfing, good, mellow, you know, kind of like that type of vibe. So that itself kind of already allowed me to figure out how I was gonna go about it. Now, when the client tells you that, the first thing I, I will tell you guys to do is make sure you guys go online, look up a song so when you guys are filming, you guys know how to cut for that song and everything is just easier for you guys. This shoot was only two hours long, but again, I already knew what I wanted to go for because the song was in place. Now, once you get that out the way with the client in terms of the style of the video, now it's the shot list. Now, I didn't have a shot list in place, but I was very comfortable going into the scene without a shot list because I shoot a lot of apparel brands. So I was very comfortable with knowing what I was gonna go for. And for the most part, once you have the song, I feel like it's very easy to kind of go about the style and the cuts. Now let's get on with what I did in the video that you guys watched. So one weird thing that I did for this video that I never done in my life when it comes to filming, besides the music video, of course, was dropping the shutter speed. I think I had it for two shots, a tenth of a second on the shutter. And the reason for that, it was during the moment when she was riding a skateboard and when the Jeep was riding. They were very quick, not too long of clips, but I wanted to add a motion during those scenes just because in my head, I just felt like it was gonna give it a different look, a different feel. And the next thing I do when it comes to clothing brands is have a camera on the side, which for me, it was also S1H. Have a camera that has a very fast frame rate for photos. And all I do is grab a bunch of photos in one take, basically fast burst, just hold down that shutter and just let it rip. Try to get like 10 to 20 photos. And then I always implement them in the videos. Not always, but for the most part, I do it anyways, just because it gives you a different type of look. Like a video will only do so much, but you can get that stutter look that these photos give you when you put them together in Premiere, like kind of like a GIF image in some type of way. You just don't get that. So those are the two things that I did in this video that kind of gave it a different type of look in case you guys were wondering how I went about getting that. So it was all done in camera. And now let's talk about the models. What do I normally do when it comes to clothing brands and what do I have the models do? For example, when it's guys, sometimes I have them, you know, kind of just move their hands. If not, I have them brush their shirt, kind of like just, you know, posture, just relax. and. 
for the most part, those shots always look good when it comes to clothing brands because you're able to get close shots as you're doing. You know, it doesn't look too stagnant or too, I guess, structured. It looks more loose. So I definitely like to do that for my videos as you guys watched. And another thing that I do for these videos and something that I highly suggest, this is an advice that I can give you guys, is don't focus so much on close shots when it comes to these brands. Don't focus so much on the shirt and the logo and you see this so much throughout the video. Make sure you guys get some wide shots. Make sure you guys add a style to the video that complements the brand itself. So for example, on this video you guys watched, you know, I had them in the Jeep. I had multiple different angles. And again, here and there, I'll cut into like the hat. I definitely provided the brand in the clips, but it wasn't just the focal attention. It was also the whole scene and the style that the client wanted me to give out when it came to this brand. So make sure you guys have a mixture when it comes to your apparel videos. Don't get so much focus on the brand. You are shooting for the brand, but also implement the style and add different things. Another tip that I can tell you guys when it comes to these clothing brands in terms of video is on side of just getting obviously everything that I mentioned, if you guys see something interesting or a B-roll of the location that you guys wanna go for, you know, make sure you guys grab it and you never know, sometimes you can add a quick second or three seconds of that in the video. So for example, one shot that I added was a bird. I saw the pigeon like on the train tracks and I put the camera quickly on 120 frames per second and I pushed in, I knew I was gonna slow it down and it potentially could have been a shot just to kind of show a little bit of something extra, you know, kind of give it that little extra ump to the video. Um, that was just so stupid, but you guys get what I mean. Just give it that extra spice to the video. The next thing I also wanted to break down with you guys is notice how, you know, for the most part, I had them all either talking, vibing, smiling, having a good time. That's because that is what Ruka and I think I'm spelling it right. Hopefully I'm spelling it right with Ruka, but Volcom, Hurley, all these brands, when you watch their commercials or you watch their promos, they're always having a good time. It's just overall a good mellow vibe. So I definitely wanted them to just have fun, relax, make them feel as natural as possible. But yeah, that's pretty much it. For the most part, I covered this whole video. Uh, again, I don't know if I was all over the place, but as I stated, and this is why it's nighttime, is because I was stuttering, having a bad, hard time trying to get this video out. So I'm actually excited that I got through with this. If you guys have any additional questions for this video, just drop a comment below. Like this video if you guys found it helpful. Um, and if you guys made it this far, appreciate you guys. You guys are the MVP and this is why I do these YouTube videos because I really wanna help you guys. So if you guys want any additional information with this video, again, leave a comment below and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out guys.